Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to help you make some stuff out of the Avon edit. Alright, um, so these ones you will need um, if you've got any lying around. If not, paper, um, newspaper, anything you've got. These are a little bit more sturdy, but any old magazines. But obviously we want to promote Avon, so this is why we're using these. Now these make these bags. Okay, so I've got four different designs for you. Okay, um, if there's any, if you write in the comments, if you want me to go back through anything um, or give you a little message um, with some step by step or something. Um, but what we will do is, uh, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this one first because it's a bit easier to explain with the bigger bottom. So ignore my flower at the minute. <laughs> well, I'll teach you to do those in another video, um, just so it's not so long. Um, these ones are great for uh, the nail polishes because they're perfect for that sort of size. But if you've got something um, specific that you need to put in one of these bags or a different size or anything like that, uh, again, behind me, I've got the bigger sizes um, so if I'll do another video for the bigger bags, but this is just for the smaller bags. Um, so they're about the same size as my hand. Um, and they can fit sort of, uh, me, me, yes, just about <laughs> one of the so soft um, bottles in as well. They're about that sort of size. So same height and the same width on the bottom. All right. So we're going to go through this. So what you will need is your catalogue. Now they are held together with staples, so you do have to be a little bit careful. Um, so just pull those out. Um, I'll just get rid of that one. Um, and then you've got four pages, all right? So put your spare pages to one side for the minute. Um, and you've got this one, okay? So make sure when you're lying it down that it's the right way up. So that when you've got the bag open at the top, all the product is going, knowledge and all of the stuff that you're advertising is the right way round. <laughs> all right. Um, so yeah, so you've got your double sheet. Okay. So you're going to fold your right hand um, edge. You've got the middle here, look. You're going to fold it slightly over, now maybe a centimetre over the middle line, okay? So we're all going to do that now. So fold it over and then you're going to run down the edge so you've now got this, okay? And again, with the other edge, on your left hand edge, you're going to fold it over so the edge you've already folded now do that a centimetre overlapping your right hand edge. So you will end up like that. So it's only a little bit, can you see? Just a little bit over. So if I open it out without gluing it, it will look like a diamond, okay? So now, Run your glue or what have you got? Double, I've got double sided sellotape, I've got Pritt stick, I've got PVA glue, I've got sellotape. So whatever you've got to hand. Now you don't have to go and buy everything. I love my pink Pritt stick. So it's just quick and easy when I'm trying to get bags done. Um, so go from the bottom to the top. Now you need to put quite a lot on. Um, because otherwise it won't work. Just make sure at the top and at the bottom you've just put a little bit extra. So when you fold it over, you just smooth it down. And then it's connected. Alright? Sorted? Right. Okay, next. Now depending on what size you want your bag this one's slightly smaller this one's even smaller again <laughs> depends on this stage so you really need to measure whatever you're putting in now i'm gonna just show you with the nail polish um that you need to put it on the side and then measure up so make it a little bit bigger so it's not tight in the bag 
um, but you just need to do that and then go with your fingernail just mark on your paper where that goes up to so you know when this goes in to your bag that it's going to fit okay because you don't want a bulging bag because it doesn't look very good <laughs> so wherever i put my fit there we go so i'm going to fold it up so you've then got a backwards l or frontwards l whatever way you want to do it <laughs> okay so you folded it up to that so that's that one now this is the bit that's a bit fiddly so um, I'll come a bit closer so you can see. Now, so you've got your L shape and then you can see your opening. So what you want to do is pull the bit nearer the middle section, I suppose, um, down like that. Okay, and then the other section flat to the table. So it opens it out. Okay, and then obviously you've got this middle line here. So this one here. So these two edges, this one here and this one here, need to go flat. So they then make a triangle, so it's all in line, okay? So I'll do it the other way, so you can see. So this bit here needs to go in line with this bit here. So you pull it down, I'm trying to do it in the mirror, but <laughs> okay. Um, and then you do that okay so that's what it should look like now all right so like that make sure it's all with your finger now just run along the all the lines so they're nice okay so from this this edge here needs to be over that way so this line here, so it needs to come at least a centimetre over the middle line um, because otherwise the bag will just open. So you need to fold it down over the middle line. Okay, and then just flatten that down. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Okay, and then the one that's in the middle this is your top edge again needs to be folded over so it's overlapping this bit because again if you don't stick this edge to here everything will fall out <laughs> so i'm going to fold it up let me just see can you do it while i'm doing that yeah okay So it looks like that, okay? So now we've got it nice and folded. I'm just gonna glue the bottom bit, or you can do the top bit, but just make sure that they're stuck together. should look like that okay so you've still got it a little bit but it should be <coughs> the diagonals there now this is another tricky bit now you see you've got like a square that side or a diamond that way this edge has to go into this diamond here okay so you're going to fold, be folding it downwards like this so it sits into that <laughs> hard to do when I'm in the mirror right <laughs> that into that edge look okay so it's basically in half and then you're going to fold it all the way along okay so you've made it from a diamond or I suppose it's a bit more of a square <laughs> that way and then folded it so it's in line with this line here as well okay and again with the other side can you see the square here so you're going to fold this bit here into this bit here okay
Okay, you see? Lovely. Well done. If you've got this far and not had to go back, you're doing brilliant. <laughs> okay, so we're nearly there, okay? So now you've got that far. So it should look like that, like that. So now you need to go to your open edge and put your hand in. Now, hopefully it's all glued together because otherwise you have to go back and glue your edges. Okay, so pull out all your edges. So down the side, you can see you've got the middle crease here and then you've got the two creases either side. What you want to do, because they're inverted at the minute, you want to pop them out so they're um, extra, I don't know what the word is, but pop them out the other way, okay? Like that, okay? Because then it will look like a proper little bag. Again, this end does not look good at the minute. So we're just gonna fold down that bit, pop, whoop, Come on, there we go, and pop that end out there. Okay, all right, so it's turning into a bag. I mean, you could use it just like that now. You just wanna put things in, off you go. Um, quick and easy. So you can either now, from where your middle section is, just fold her in half like that. All right, and again with the other one, because you should already have a line there now. So it should look like a proper bag, okay? And then what we're gonna do is either fold it down, you can then now hole punch it and put a ribbon through like this one. So you can do it that way. So all you have to do is fold down the top and then put your ribbon through. Um, you can either fold down your top and then staple it and then put um, the bows on, um, or we've got these bows, which are easier. Um, again, folded down. So entirely up to you what you want to do. I wouldn't suggest doing the ribbon and a bow. It might be a bit too much, but the bigger the bag, the more you can put on it. Um, so that's that one. So yeah, well done. If you've got this far, well done. <laughs> um, these are the handle ones. Now, these are really easy. All you have to do, have I got a piece? There we go. So, cut a piece of um, the catalogue, um, probably on the jelly ones. Cut it. So you've got it that way. If you turn it that way and cut an edge off here, if you've got enough of the catalogues, if not, use string, use ribbon, whatever you want as a handle, um, but just cut along there and then you've got a strip. Then all you have to do is sort of just bring it up. So move your hands in and it sort of makes its own little handle then. Can you see? So all you then have to do is to make it wide or um, narrow depending on how big you want the handle to do to look like all right um, now i felt folded this handle down um, and i've left this one up just to show you so depending on what look you want um, and how you want to give it to them whether you want to give it to them like that or you can hang it um, on their door handle or depends on how they are socializing at the minute but yeah, so all you have to do is paste paper, pull it together, and you've got your handle. So stick it inside. You could put a label in there to hold it, some sticky tape, some whatever you want to just connect it to the side, some glue. Obviously, you do have to let it set before you then send it out because if the glue hasn't set, it can come apart again. So just make sure it's completely dry um, before you go out with your orders. So yeah, that's all the little bags. So that's the handle, the ribbon, uh, the fold down with the um, pointy star, or the fold down, oh there it is, <laughs> fold down with the folded stars, all right? So, 
write me a comment um, see which ones you like um, and whether you want me to go over anything but thanks for watching